Holy smokes. Okay, well today we are at Goodville of Lemoyne because I'm meeting my sister and my dad to celebrate Father's Day for the third time. <laughs> for the third time, we celebrated once at Big Hill Cider, our favorite place to go on the weekends, and then we celebrated on Father's Day. And now I'm celebrating again with my sister because she was away. And so I think this is the last time I'm celebrating Father's Day, but you know what? My dad deserves to be celebrated. So um, I'm meeting them for lunch. That only gives me about 30 minutes to shop the Goodwill. So we're gonna head in here, we're gonna see what we can find to buy and flip for a profit. So here we go. I've seen these before. How much? These are Italian. Four ninety nine. Oh. Grab that. Oh. Maybe not. This is like all right, maybe. What do we have here? That is gorgeous. <laughs> it's Fenton. Um, I can't recall if this is supposed to have a lid or not. I feel like it is. But the lid is long gone. Right? The lid is probably gone. We're gonna grab it. We'll see if we can find a lid. Chances are the lid broke and they donated it to the Goodwill. There is the lid to a hen on a nest. Beautiful, beautiful, but I don't have table. I need to buy the table first. Made in China. I kind of like the looks of that pair. At first, I thought those were all little trinket boxes, but I think they're just decorative <laughs> purses. Just decorative purses, not trinket boxes. These are cute. Cat trivets. And what is all of this? Passion's Flame. Ooh la la. $9.99. What is this? Are these more of these? I guess maybe they are. Rain Originals. This is somebody's whole fancy shoe collection. Wow, I guess this is more of a thing than I thought it was. Oh wow. It's a fancy shoe collection. I didn't know that was a thing. Now I do. We learned something new today. Maybe we both did. That actually reminds me of something I found while I was metal detecting in England. Hello, handsome. Made in Japan, four ninety nine. I wonder if that's for incense. Maybe. We'll stick it in there. Gosh, wouldn't it be amazing if the lid to that jar was just sitting over here? <laughs> oh my goodness, that would be amazing. I doubt this can happen though. What are these? Those are a case collection. I was hoping they were Italian. Oh my goodness, I've never seen this one before. Six nine. Oh my god. <laughs> I usually see the orange ones in the bonnets. It's usually a little boy and a little girl. I've never seen this one before. This one is different. $6.99. You know, a lot of you had suggested that I have a weirdo sale. My friend Mary from Mary Weather Market just recently had a weirdo sale where she sold a bunch of weirdos. And I think that would be lots of fun. So I've been having, I've, I've, decided that I'm going to start having um, reoccurring Wednesday sales on whatnot. <laughs> I think that we should have a, a themed weirdo sale and this will be this will be the mascot for the weirdo sale. <laughs> right, right there. Um, there's a sticker on top of this. Underneath the sticker it appears to be Order of the Eastern Star. That's my guess. Philly, Czechoslovakia, or Philly means imported into Philadelphia. Um, 
It's Italian. It is Italian. We love it. Kind of look like feathers, maybe. It is chips. It is a chip. I was gonna say it looks chips. It is chips. Somebody glued it back together. Ugh, I love the design, but I'm gonna leave it behind. Adorable. It's a bell. It looks like a basset hound, right? Critter bells. Grab that. I have a box started of basset hound stuff for Donna. Um, for the basset hound rescue. I've just been throwing everything, well, gently placing everything into a box. That has the beehive mark. That, um. Hmm. The beehive mark. What am I thinking? You guys know the beehive, the beehive mark. Although the beehive mark is knocked off a lot. I like the looks of this plate though. I'm gonna pick that up for $2.99. Over here we have some goofus glass. I like the the I like the look of goofus glass and I'm surprised it doesn't sell for more than it does, but I'm gonna leave that behind. Down here, $3.99. United States Quarry Tile Company. Romany Tiles. That's interesting for $3.99. I don't think I've ever heard of that before. Ooh, Sidden Stricker. $2.99. There's a Sidden Stricker dish. That's always fun to find. A little bit of resale value on that. Um, what else do we have? These are pretty. I don't know if those are anchor hawking. There's a crackle. Crackle vase. It's $4.99 on that. I do kind of like the cobalt blue. <laughs> getting, a little, getting a little hairy in here. Oh, there we go. Oh, look. Tango glass. Oh, yes. You know what? It kind of looks like a yogurt container. But tango glass is... Um, the contrast between this orange and that black rim that's considered tango glass. So maybe it's Czechoslovakia, uh, but we're gonna stick that in there for $2.99. What else do we have? A little bit of milk glass. There's some black glass. Pretty heavy piece of black glass. I think that's it for the vase section. I don't see the lid to that little fun dish. It's not here, <laughs> unfortunately. Holy smokes. What is this? That is a modern decorative vase. It's only $4.99. A lot of the times on pieces like these with the applied um, threading, the threading breaks in certain points, but this one looks good. It's only $4.99. It is contemporary. You can tell by a sticker on the bottom. But this is something I would stick in my booth because it's definitely an eye catcher. So I'm going to put that in here with my weirdo. Let's see what we've got over here. This was here the last time. This uh, perfume missing a stopper. I always thought these were neat. I love these. I don't know. Are those, um, no, they're not mar Martin. The margarita glasses. That's what they are. Margarita glasses. They have applied fruits on them. This is a cool dish. I would never want to ship that in a million years, but I love the colors. Oh, look at these. All oh, these are so neat. Oh my gosh, look at them. Oh my goodness. These are so cool. Okay, we have to find the cups that go with them. They're probably in the next aisle. Let's grab them and look for the cups. If I can't find the cups, I'm probably not going to take them. But this is where all the cups usually live. <laughs> so if we have a chance of finding them, this will be where they're at. Those are nice. 
No markings on those. They're not the matching cups. I don't know. I just get distracted easily. Um, I'm not seeing anything right off the bat, so I don't know. That's kind of a bummer. I don't think they're here. Unless they got stuck in a different aisle. That's gorgeous. Only one of them though. There was more than one. I'd scoop that up in a second. Okay. Um. Yeah, there's no cups. So I'm gonna put them back. Um, and the reason that they need cups is because they have this little indent right here. Uh, they're, they're intended for um, for your little cup and your hors d'oeuvres and that sort of thing. So we need we need all the pieces to make them complete. This is kind of fun. That might be good for the booth. Carlisle is known for its car shows, but I feel like somebody might like a motorcycle, right? <laughs> and then down here, a little bit farther, I was eyeing this up from a distance. Lombard made in England. I don't think I've ever heard of that before. It's metal. I think it's copper. $6.99. Ah, it's kind of sloppily painted. You can see the paint drips. I don't think it was originally this color. It looks good from afar. Not so much close up. Hmm, that's a silver overlay. Sterling on crystal. Silver City Glass Company. Is that a trivet? What is it? I want to say trivet, but there's nothing to, um... Basically, if you set something hot on top of this, the heat would transfer directly onto the table. There's nothing to disperse the heat. So I don't know what this is. Maybe it's just a nice little um, dish for your vanity. I like it. I'll take it. It's $3.99. Um, I'm not seeing the lid for that Fenton, so I'm a little tempted to put it back, honestly. I feel like I've searched the shelves pretty thoroughly. And I don't think we're going to find it. I just checked my time and I have about 10 more minutes. See what we can find in 10 minutes. Easter Bunny Bowl. You know, I see the price on the bottom of this. I think this is an antique mall tag. The last time I was here, um, I, I ran into the manager and we were talking about how Mondays here at Goodwill or any Goodwill um, during the summertime and during garage sale time is a great time to come to Goodwill because um, people who have yard sales over the weekend on Mondays, you know, Tuesdays even probably, uh, they dump <laughs> they dump their stuff at the Goodwills that doesn't sell. And I was thinking about that and I'm like, oh my gosh, you're right. And she's, she's like, some of the prices people try to get for stuff is just insane. She's like, I can't believe some of the, the prices. So basically people will not accept deals on, on things. Um, they won't accept lower prices, but when all is said and done, they'll dump it at the Goodwill and the Goodwill will charge less for it. So, <laughs> so there's your, uh, your hint to check the Goodwills on Mondays and Tuesdays for the stuff that didn't sell at the yard sales over the weekends. Well, this is a nice bowl. Gail Pittman. 2002. Down here. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> I missed it. You may have seen it. Eh, you know the gold is really worn off on that though. So, I don't know what 3 dollars with that wear. Oh, check out this kaleidoscope. Heck yeah. Oh, it's signed. Does it work? Oh, I love kaleidoscopes, especially when they're artists signed. They can be really good. Kaleidoscopes, right? That's what they're called? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this could be good. <laughs> We're gonna look that up. Barks... Krat? Barks Krat. Let's look it up. I guess my spelling is off or something because I can't seem to find any others like it. 
Um, and I'm just gonna yeah, I'll take a chance at 4 dollars because I know I can make money with that price. This is super cool. Um, the dish itself is whatever, but it's the feet on it that adds that mid-century style that I like. So for $4.99, I'm gonna add this to our cart. We're starting to bury stuff. I need to be careful because I do want to get that fountain out of there where I couldn't find the lid. Ooh, here weirdo, hold this for me. We gotta rearrange. Okay. Checking over here on the last final row. Oh, those are darling, aren't they? Look at those. $2.99. Polished bottom, hand blown. With little spoons. Mm. Those are so cute. I think that they were supposed to have little leaves on the fruit that is broken off, which kind of sucks. <laughs> I'm gonna buy those. They're like little marmalade jars. Okay, I was on my way over to Lamps and Artwork and I noticed these. And I thought of my mom and I thought of the booth and I thought, I showed up with these to the booth she would be like oh my gosh those are so amazing Jocelyn you did such a great job I could just hear her praising me in my head and I thought I would like to hear that in real life <laughs> those are so darling and they're they have stickers hand painted by Connie I'm gonna make a screen black though so you're probably like what's happening um, because it has her phone number and I don't want to dox her on my video so um, we're gonna stick these in my basket um, but I gotta rearrange first there's a little jewel box but it's missing its lid all right let's continue on over to lamps and artwork all right I see two pieces of artwork that look interesting but the woodlot. It's a signed and numbered print. I kind of like it, but I don't really want any prints. Mm. Raymond Weaver. Yeah, I like it, but it's not for me. What's behind it? Kind of looks like some folk art looking stuff. Ooh, let's see. Ooh, it's a giant. <laughs> we're in Kimball. I like him. That's a nice looking lamp for $3.99. Uh, it's not a Mackenzie Childs. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it. I have too many lamps as it is. I need a really wow lamp to be tempted for today. Some days it doesn't take much for that temptation to creep in, but today I need like a really wow something. There's some cork artwork. A lot of the times when I find these, um, all the little cork pieces are hanging out down at the bottom. You can see this one only has a few flowers that fell off, which isn't bad. It's $3.99. I could stick this in my booth and make a few dollars on that. So I want to grab that. Oh, we're going to go this way. Oh my goodness, I love this. <laughs> Just like it. $3.99, and that can actually help me carry stuff to the car. As long as it's not dirty on the inside. I never have too many totes to carry stuff, although it looks like something was spilled on the end. You know what? This material, you can throw it right in the wash. What do we have here? It's glass. And I'm almost throwing it off the shelf. But what is a fire king oven? Ooh. I like Fire King, it's $9.99, but I'll just tuck it in my little tote there. I don't know much about it, but I know it's probably worth more than $9.99. Um, they're currently circling with the carts. So I figured we'd give it another pass. Okay, well, we've got to give a final peek at the figurines and see if anything fresh hit the, hit the shelves. This is one of those salt things. 
Those all always freak me out now that you guys told me that some of them are recalled because they're fire hazards. Now I look at them and I'm like, oh, paralyzed in fear, you know? <laughs> oh, shoot. All right. I didn't see really anything here, so I'm going to skip over to the next figurine aisle. And I'm actually going to put this back on the shelf because this is where I found it. So um, I would love to pick up the fountain. I just I feel like it's supposed to have a lid. Without a lid, I've got enough in my cart. I don't really need it. There we go. I like that. That's like a carved away design. It's a nice dish. So this is kind of cool. I find these all the time. And um, this one actually has a sticker on it. Perlessons.com. I always assumed these were vases, but now I realize that they are actually uh, oil diffusers, I think. I think that's what this is called. When you have like scented oil and then you stick these little sticks in it. Oh, hey, look. <laughs> right next to it. A wedding box. That's neat. There you go. I like wedding boxes. This one doesn't have any decoration on it, but um, the reason it's called a wedding box, and I'll show you. Um, you guys actually taught me this. I didn't know this uh, the first time I bought one. Let's see if I can. Go. I'm gonna buy it, so I feel like I can, I can do this. Sorry, I've got the camera under my arm, but it's kind of an awkward angle. But look. It does this. a little wonky. Usually they're more sturdy, but uh, well, there you go. So it actually sits on the lid, which is really cool. And you guys taught me that. So, <laughs> I don't know, I guess that's why they're called wedding boxes, so that your guests can pick from it, and then the lid goes back on. Okay, my total spend there was $98. I did have to leave the floral painted mugs behind. <laughs> um, they had a tag on them, but the computer would not recognize the tag so um, they had to go back to be priced again so that was kind of a bummer um, I'm actually gonna be back in the area tomorrow so I might swing through I plan on swinging through anyway whenever I'm in the area I inevitably stop at the Goodwill so if they're back on the shelf maybe I'll pick them up um, but otherwise somebody else will get them and that's okay there's enough stuff to go around um, I just thought they would look nice in the booth but I'm gonna get out of here now I'm gonna head down the road. I'm gonna go have lunch. <laughs> they actually called me. Um, I guess they were driving, riding over together. They called me while I was in the checkout, and they were, they were running late anyway. So um, that made me feel good that I wasn't the one running late this time. But <laughs> I will see all of you guys tomorrow. So long.